Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to review this little gadget. This is the Stan Sport Bug Zapper, backpacking bug zapper to be specific. Give you a closer look at it here. So basically I had the opportunity to test this throughout the summer of 2021. I took it on three different outings. Uh, a couple of the outings not so buggy. The last one I took it on very buggy. And we're going to talk about how it performed and what my final thoughts are on it and that kind of thing. Most of what you need to know about this thing is in the video you're about to see. Um, but a th few things I wanted to touch on. This is by Stansport. It cost me $29 and in doing some research online there are identical copies of this with different brand names on them. So this is one of those generic backpacking items that people slap their uh, brand on and it's probably just a generic thing manufactured in China or something. Um, it doesn't say made in China or anything but I assume it is. Anyway, so you can get these from anywhere from like $15 all the way up to $30 which is what I paid depending on where you buy them, the brand, etc. You can get one online for $15 and I bought mine at a sporting goods store for $29 even though it was mislabeled on the shelf as $10. Kind of ticked me off, but I really wanted it. I talk about that in the video. Anyway, a viewer pointed out to me um, in one of the videos that featured this little item that it probably would work best hanging in your tent as a bug zapper as opposed to hanging it around camp or setting it on a camp table or something like that. And then it occurred to me, after using it all summer, that that's probably what the purpose of this bug zapper is. Basically, you have a couple of settings. You have the glow that, of course, kills the insects right there. And then you have three light settings. One, two, three. Okay. So it's not advertised this way, but I think you're supposed to just hang this up in your tent. You always have those little stray insects, mosquitoes and whatnot that get into your tent when you're climbing in and out and you end up trying to grab at them while you're in there trying to, you know, remove them. I think this is meant to serve dual purpose as both a lantern inside your tent. I don't know if that's doing the wavy thing that I'm seeing on my screen, but it makes for a great tent lantern. It's not heavy. Maybe half a pound, um, but also will zap the bug that is bugging you inside your tent. Now I didn't use it like that and I should have and that makes me want to take it out again this year 2022 and hang it up inside my tent hammock whatever I'm using to get those little pesky guys that somehow sneak in and infiltrate my fortress of solitude. So Without further ado, let's get into this. Um, most of the footage you're going to see here shows it hanging from a tree, shows it sitting on a rock, or wherever I decided to hang it. Never occurred to me hanging inside your tent. And yet there was a point I got to on the Watson Lake Trail where I had a bug in the tent and I couldn't catch it. I kept grabbing at it and trying to snag the little bugger while I was laying in it trying to relax in the middle of the day. This would have really come in handy if I'd thought to hang it up it would have taken care of the problem so anyway it did an okay job i passed it off in the following video as gimmicky you know don't bring this along as your sole source of bug uh removal use bug repellent use you know whatever else it is bug nets that you use and that this is meant to be just sort of a gimmicky thing it's what i said in the video but now, in hindsight, thanks to that viewer's comment, I realize this is actually supposed to hang inside your tent as your lantern and your bug zapper. And that has given a whole new life to this for me. So I'm excited to use it again. I had pretty much written it off as just a gimmick. And now I'm like, wow, I can't wait to hang this up inside my tent or hammock, bug net, whatever, and see how it performs with those stray bugs that get inside. And built-in lantern. So pretty cool. So let's get on with the Stansport bug zapper or at least the Stansport version of this generic bug zapper. It says right here mosquito killer power 5 watts and this is supposed to hold a charge for 24 hours. 
I did not have that kind of success with it, maybe 12, and then it was dead. But it's fully rechargeable with a USB, as you can see right there. That's where you plug it in. So I usually just throw this on my power bank and recharge it. Anyway, enough. I will shut up. We'll get on with the video. I will let me do the rest of the talking, and I will shut up. So, over to me. This is pretty cool. I found this. I'm testing it. It's a bug zapper. So, we're going to see how that works when nighttime comes. It has a regular light, three settings that should attract them and also light up camp. And then you can push and hold and you'll get the actual, let me see here. Yeah, the actual blue light that zaps the bugs, the electricity. It's fully charged, it'll run for 24 hours on a full charge. But we only need it for a couple of evenings. The bugs are coming out in full force, so I've turned on the bug light to see what will happen. Hoping it works. Bugs will be drawn to the eerie glow of death. Oop, there we go. Didn't go in, but he flew by it and checked it out. Wonder if I turn it down just to the low setting. There you can see the glow. Haven't zapped anything yet. Maybe it has to actually be dark. My miniature backpacking death machine. Because they're buzzing around the camera. They're buzzing around me. Do they not see the irresistible glow? Come on, one zap. Just to make it worth my while. I know you guys want to see a bug get zapped, or at least hear it. Mosquitoes go for the highest part of your body. It's why they're always buzzing around your head. But uh, I used to hold my hands in the air, and they would do. They would sur surround my my hands. I think it has to be dark. Anyway, I'll shut up. Let's clean up. <clears throat> the only thing still out is the bug zapper. And uh, I just don't feel like staying awake anymore to see if it works. I still got tomorrow night too, so I'll give it a try then. I have mosquitoes all over my face, but they don't like the bug spray. Sorry, I have a piece of garbage in my mouth. <coughs> they don't like the bug spray. I'm using 100% DEET. I did bring my, the bug zapper. I tried testing it in my last video and didn't have much success. It wasn't very buggy, etc. But this time, it's very buggy. So we'll see how it goes. These mosquitoes are nasty. Let's see if they like this. I've got a couple of gnats that got zapped in there, little tiny things, uh, from my house. I tried it in my backyard. We'll see if we can get them to find their way to the little blue light. I don't know, it, might, it may have to be dark. I'm pretty sure it does. They're all over my face, but they're not really going towards this thing. I'm determined to see if this works. I'm going to hang it near my head when I climb in bed tonight and just let it run without the this light on, just the glow, because you can turn this off. There's three settings, low, medium, high, off, and then you can see the glow there. But they're not too drawn to it. You know, they're annoying me, but they're not landing on me. So the bug spray is working. Bug repellent. I'm going to turn on this light and just see what happens. These things are driving me nuts. I kind of wish I could have a fire so the smoke would get rid of these bugs. But so far, nothing. It's just stupid. I'll just turn it on when I go to bed. Well, that eerie glow out there... Er can't really see what I'm filming, but the bug zapper is hanging up. 
giving some light. Um, but mostly I just wanted to see if it would zap at all. The underquilt kept me warm and the bug zapper stayed on all night until it died. Um, I did hear it go off at least once and it wasn't like, uh, you know, a big bug zapper kind of goes zzz. It was more like a zzz, zzz, zzz. <laughs> So some bug died a slow and painful death, not a quick zap. Um, I don't know if it got any others. I'll have to examine it when I get out. We have some pretty impressive results on the uh, bug zapper. I only heard the one zap, but that doesn't mean anything because it's it's pretty well covered. Let's see if I can get you a good shot of all the bugs. See them down in there. Moths, mosquitoes mostly. It works. Uh, however, what I've noticed is just hanging it up isn't enough. It has to be near your body because that's what they're really after. So my head was here at this end of the hammock and they knew it. They felt the heat or they sensed it or whatever it is mosquitoes do. And then they were drawn to the light and executed in a not so humane manner. <laughs> There's quite a few in there. I think the big zap I heard was that that moth down there at the bottom. But uh, I got several. It works. It's just a matter of placement. So I would have to literally walk around with that thing hanging on my hat or something. It's the only time I've been able to get it to work. Otherwise, they're just interested in me. So, a little gimmicky, but it does work. It was worth testing. So my, my verdict on the uh, backpacking bug zapper is uh, don't bring it if it's going to be your sole source of keeping the bugs away. Uh, otherwise you're going to be very disappointed and very itchy. <laughs> I was inside a bug net with bug spray on. Very comfortable. But this still did a good job. It's just, uh, I don't think it's necessary for a backpacking trip. I might take it on my next one. Uh, just one more time. See how we do there. But... So far, I just think it's an unnecessary piece of gear. You're better off with bug spray and a bug net and all that. So It actually probably attracts the bugs <laughs> more than keeps them away. Kind of like those, uh, you know, those hornet uh, traps that you put in your yard. You put some water in it with some tuna or something and hang it up and all these uh, hornets will come and climb inside it and drown well. Those are all good and fine, but if you hang one in your yard, you're actually attracting more hornets than you had in the first place because of the smell and the, all their buddies telling them about this magical place to get some food. So they're really not a good idea. A lot of people get them to keep hornets out of their yard, but they actually bring more hornets into your yard. That's kind of the philosophy, I think, behind that bug zapper. I could see buying a big bug zapper and hanging it at a distance from my patio in the backyard so they're attracted to that and away from the patio, but I don't think it would keep them away from me. I don't know. Just some thoughts. Early morning thoughts with Utah Steve. <laughs> that bug zapper, when it was sitting on the shelf at the sporting goods store, said $10. And when I got up to the check stand, it said $29. But I really wanted it. I really wanted to test it. So I spent the measly 30 bucks, which was 20 more than I thought it would be. Over here I have my roll pack with all of my essentials in it. I have my bug zapper. It did work on my last outing to Hayden Lake. You can see in there some of the late mosquitoes that did not meet a good end. So my goal now is just to get the bear bag hung and frankly just sit in the tent. It's, these bugs aren't biting me at all, but holy crap are they hovering. And we will turn on the bug light. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this on all night. I don't know if those are the same bugs or new ones. 
but we'll see if there are more in the morning. I'll try to remember what it looks like now. Our bug light worked really well, despite my expectations. I didn't think it would. But look at that. It's covered. In our annoying little friends. I left it up here all night. So this time it wasn't my head under a bug net that was attracting them and they just happened to get zapped. Now this isn't your typical bug zapper like you would have at home that would make a big zap sound when they land on it. Usually when they land it's just very quiet death. <laughs> I think we can turn off this part and just leave the glow. See what happens but I think I think that's the most we're gonna get today. As you can see <laughs> I ain't complaining. That's insane. It's covered in mosquitoes. Oh, there's something big in there. Oh, you see that guy down in the bottom? Some big nasty thing in there. Looks like a mosquito hawk. I'm excited to get out there and use this again this year. I appreciate you guys sticking around. Welcome to new subscribers. I have a few more. I'm so excited about it. This year is going to be awesome for all of us, I hope. Uh, things are looking better. They're looking better. <laughs>